The Graduate Diploma in Tropical Medicine and Hygiene has been with the Faculty of Tropical Medicine since the faculty's establishment, which is back to 1960, almost 60 years ago. Objective of the programs would be to enhance or supplement the medical doctors with the theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge on tropical diseases and we also offer the clinical experiences to the medical doctors how to diagnose, how to deal with the disease, how to treat and to suggest prevention and control. DTM and Edge is a six month course. In addition to that, not only lecture laboratories, we take them to the field, the field practice one, which would be very useful to the student, especially the foreign student. They learn health system in Thailand from the provincial hospital. Take them to the Buffalo schools. To see the lifestyle of the Thai farmers and see how the disease are transmitted. So that's the plus of being with DTM and H course. This afternoon, we are here to do a health checkup for the children here. All the children, they are students, and we do like a um, general health checkup for them. Well, this field trip is very, very great that we can apply our DTM and H course. It's like um, we can check for ectoparasite, like um, the lice on the page, on the children, and also other general health checkup. As we know, Mahidon University have Faculty of Tropical Medicine and this is the tropical area. So, and also this course is opened over 50 years ago and it's quite famous all around uh, Asia. So I decide to study um, here because one is a famous university and um, it's also the in tropical country so I can experience various tropical diseases. Some diseases I cannot see in my country. After they come back from a school visit, students have a chance to examine stool samples with microscopes to diagnose any conditions affecting the digestive tract. Then. They survey for mosquito birthing places, make mosquito traps, and collect them the following morning. The next day, after collecting mosquito traps, they visit the Buffalo School to learn and observe local farming techniques, lifestyle, and culture. He said he's welcome all of us to the Buffalo School here, or in fact, we call it as Buffalo Bank. This is a training school for a buffalo. It has two objectives of the buffalo training. The first one is to reserve the Thai buffalo because the number of the Thai buffalo is now decreasing. This banking is trying to reserve the number of the buffalo. The second one, is the, um, trying to train the buffalo how to work in the right field, um, how to train the buffalo. Uh, this is the first step of uh, training of the buffalo. This buffalo never trained before, so it's quite difficult to be trained. After the buffalo family with the rope, yeah. then we're going to be the second step. That's another buffalo is coming over there. Uh, the weight after that is about 500 kilograms. The next step, which uh, we will go to the rice field, prepare the land for 
um, the plantation of the rice. Any volunteer to join? Raise your hand. Okay, shall we start? Please follow him. Your eyes should look at the buffalo. Do not look at your feet. This is my first field trip. It was really wild out there. <laughs> the buffalo is going so fast. Yes, so you think it's easy, but you have to get in there and the mud is high, and so your foot goes down. I fell a few times, but it's okay. <laughs> it was a really good experience. Well, um, I think what we... Oh, he's tired as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you get a chance to get in the mud and then you understand how people can be exposed to so much, you know, different pathogens um, working in this field. Now we know that the, how, how the buffalo work in the fields. This is quite difficult to wear a boots or any shoes in the rice field because of the muddy. Please remember rice is your life. This is why we are facing the difficult times to control the soil transmitter diseases. For example, like the helminths, leptospirosis, melioidosis, it's very difficult to, to control in Southeast Asia. It's a place of the first step of the health care system in Thailand because it's a health volunteer. This is Mr. Somporn. He, he is a volu health volunteer in this area. So what he has to work is looking for the health of the population here. He has to take care of uh, about 60 people around this area. And this is all the medicine that he can prescribe without any prescription from the medical doctor. Well. All of this, sorry, I mean, he was endorsed by the Director General of Thailand uh, to allow him to prescribe something. Is there any training that... that yes, we have, we have a training for oh. diagnosis, both uh, of microscopic examination, if he can do. But in fact, we do not allow the health volunteer to do that, except malaria clinic people. No malaria post. We received an award from the Office of Higher Education Commission in uh, 2011. We were the best practice. If you look through the Google or search engine, you will find there are seven institutes that offer tropical medicine. At Mahidon University, at the Faculty of Tropical Medicine, we are the only one institute that is situated in the tropics. 